what is tougher? What is tougher to do and what is more worthier to do, in your opinion, okay? Um, I'm in high school. I get out of high school. I'm ambitious, okay? Is it tougher to be a person who is at the level of intelligence to get 22 honorary doctorates, you know, these awards, et cetera, et cetera, knowing all of these different topics, being well-read, et cetera, et cetera, from zero to that, is it tougher to be a billionaire? Is it tougher to become the best athlete in the world like a Tom Brady? Is it tougher to make it to the highest level as an actor where you're like a, you know, Daniel Day-Lewis or at that level type of a person? What's tougher or are all of them independent to the individual? So it's, that's a mathematically solvable problem. You ask how many people are at that level and how many people are trying to be you. at that level. Divide yeah. the two numbers. Interesting. And there you have yeah. it. So it is tougher to be an MBA star than it is to be a medical professional, a medical doctor. It's tougher. Statistics. To just statistically. Right. So you can just do pure statistics. Yeah. And, but that alone should not stop you because what you'd then be saying to yourself is, I have these two roots. And I'm more likely to succeed here than there, so I'm mm. not going to go where my true love is mm -hmm. because I will probably not succeed. Well, you've already kind of surrendered, didn't you? And I would say that, you know, I used, I, I used to wrestle. Uh, you know, you don't choose wrestling because it's easy. You choose wrestling because it's hard. Kennedy said that about our space program. We choose to go to the moon not because it's easy, but because it's hard. I can tell you this, by trying most hard things, even if you have to take an exit ramp, for having tried the hard thing, you mm -hmm. are better off than having done something easy. And anytime I ask, I'm asking her advice in school, what classes should I take, what should I do? I say, take the hardest possible classes you can. But then what about my GPA? Here it comes again. What about my GPA? Well, okay, you can take an easy class and get a high GPA mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that everyone will praise you for yeah. for three months after graduation, but then because you took easy classes, everyone else took the same easy class. That's the definition of easy, isn't it? And so you will not distinguish yourself among others who have been in school. So I've had people say, well, I should know this, I had a 4.0 GPA. No, you should know it because you studied it, not because you had a GPA that had anything to do with it, okay? You should know it because you cared about it and you knew enough to absorb it and remember it, but apparently you didn't because you only did it for the exam. So you're still peddling your GPA about this. So all I would say is you're... Uh, oh, you Who is that handsome guy right there? <laughs> is that you as a wrestler? What's yeah. that all about? Yeah, in high college. school? That's college? Dude, that yeah. guy looks Dude, like you he were was into beast. UFC. This is, I said that the sexiest astrophysical alive was 50, Clearly. Pounds, 50 pounds ago. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> what? How much did you weigh then? What did you uh, what did you wrestle at? In that instant, 191 pounds. Oh, you were and you're 6'2? 6'2. 6'2, yeah. You were a yeah. you were a monster right there. Those, those biceps. Yeah, I just came off the mat and they Sick. and the guy was on the was like laying down on the mat, took it, so it's up at that angle. Do you talk about this often? Because I've never no, heard I you know, address this. It's, that's a chapter long gone. I'm, 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 when I was when I was wrestling, when I was I also danced. When I was doing those things, I no one was publishing my books. <laughs> what kind of dancing were you doing? Uh, I was a performing member of three different dance companies. Um, but the college troops, not the Bolshoi. By, by the way, I think he needs to know, as much as you kind of were joking, at one point he considered being an exotic dancer. I think. I've read it somewhere. Yeah. Well, because I was in graduate school and there wasn't, you're not paid very much as a teaching assistant. Yeah, yeah. And I thought I, you were like, you read up on it or not. That's, no, uh, no, no. And so uh, with my fellow dancers yeah. from the dance... <laughs> Look at from this the, guy from right the dance here. Group, I was, um, I was in desperate need of money, and I didn't have any money. And he says, "Hey, we we in the evenings we dance at this uh, male dancer review, and women put money in your in your in your in your jock strap." And I so I said, "He said, why don't you come down and take a look?" So I went down. This would be a, a, a way to make money back then. Mm. I was physically fit, and I could do a full split. What? And I was I was graceful and strong. Strong and nimble. So I, I totally could have rocked whatever was necessary Hell for that, I'm thinking. So I go there, and they come <laughs> they come out with asbestos-lined jock straps, 
that had been infused with lighter fluid and ignited. And they came out dancing to Jerry Lee Lewis's Great Balls of Fire. <laughs> and in that instant, I said, hmm, I think I'll be a math tutor <laughs> instead. Yeah. And, and I'm, I'm deeply embarrassed and disappointed with myself that math tutor was not the first thing that mm -hmm. came to my head. Mm -hmm. That I Keep even your options open. considered. <laughs> so it took people's nuts on fire for me wow. to... It mind took, blowing. It, it took me nuts on fire for me to be to be slapped back into reality. So I tutored math and physics. And I thought you were gonna blow my mind with some astrophysicists. No, well, he nuclear. hasn't asked me about astrophysics yeah. yet. Well, okay. By the way, what was your your stage name at the time? No, I, I didn't have a stage. I feel like I would have had a great no. stage name for you. What? 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 The black hole. Oh yeah, no, yeah, no. What you know, a double terrible no, no, name. I, double entendre no, no, right no, there. No, here's with, a better name, right? Yeah. Dark matter. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Pat, this is should be a great segue and, for and you, you to it. talk about. And you got to say it. Doing it. I'm not doing you it. Say, dark matter. Ooh, yeah, you the James that. Earl Jones. Please help us bring God. Dark matter. Yeah. <laughs> so, so anyway, wow. the, the, what was the point we were making here about uh, achieving What's tougher something? To do? What's, What's tougher, tougher to, do? to do? You do it because it's hard. <clears throat> you don't do it because You know it's what easy. I saw the other day? You're, you're, uh, uh, you're a sports guy. I saw a guy making an argument why the goat of goats isn't Brady, it's messy. And the way the guy broke it down is there's 7 billion people fighting to be 8 billion people, hmm. fighting to be the best soccer player, and it's a world sport, and football's only 330 million. Pure so numbers. Pure, pure numbers. numbers, yeah. yeah. There you he kind of took the angle you were taking. Yeah, definitely. Do you know how many billionaires there's in America? Do you know the number? Uh, at this moment, um, let me guess. Don't, don't pull it up. I want to see what Adam's going to say. I'd like to guess, say. too. Yeah. Uh, let me guess. Don't pull it up. I uh, want to see what you're going to say as well. I'm going to say somewhere between... One in 200. One in 200? What are you going to say? I don't know. I'm just thinking, if I do get this right, somehow I'm going to beat Neil deGrasse Tyson on a smart contest. <laughs> I'm, going with, oh, wait, I'm, me, going with, I'm going with 195. 195. So you guys think out of 330 million people, there's only 195 billionaires? Yeah, yeah, 200 billionaires. The number that. is... Uh, in the United States. In the U.S. Yeah. I'm not saying the world. Yeah. Because I, I came into that number because I've yeah. met like six of them. Right, and so nice little humble brag given, right there. <laughs> so how many? Given my, given that, and I'm in New York City, where a lot of billionaires are. Yeah. I'm just extrapolating up, and I'm thinking there might be some states where no billionaires live. You know, mm -hmm. so click on it. Let's see how many it says. Okay. I, uh, the number I think is 740 or 900. What? 740. There you go. In the United States. In or the, the United world? States is 740. Oh, we were very and they low. They live in 42 out of the 50 states. So okay, so states very seven. wrong. Uh, very we're yeah. Both 740. Wrong. Yeah, but that number is, is way higher than even just recently, right? Well, no, a lot of them lost a lot of money this year. So that's an updated okay. number because a lot of people lost their status. Huh. Okay. 2022 and 2020. Well, yeah, yeah, 2022 was not a good year for billionaires. So yeah. there's trillions was lost. A thousand billionaires. Do you almost. think that's a big deal, though? Do you, for you to say 100 to 200, do you think you said that because you think it's hard to do, or do you think you said that because why? Why'd you say 100 to 200? I'm curious. No, I extrapolated from the six that I know. That's okay. all. I, I, I got you. I, there was no deep thought involved. Got it. There was got a it. guess mm -hmm. based on those numbers. Yeah. Yeah, and I know seven billionaires, so it's just so you know. funny. You're, well, he's in Miami. He parties with most uh, of them anyway, uh, uh, so a lot of them are here. Okay. Look, but no, no, but but you say. Uh, I, let me just push back on you a little, just um, emotionally push back. Please. If in life your goal is to be a billionaire, what kind of life is that? I think your goal in life should be successful at something. And if that happens to bring a lot of money, then that's great. Because then you'd be happier. And I think life, happiness should play an important role. And I don't know how... I got to be a billionaire, otherwise I'm not going to be happy. And then what will, what will that force you to do? What kind of decisions will you end up making to achieve that yeah. goal relative to just trying to be the best at something that you can? Now, maybe it's you want to be the best at making money. Okay. Good luck. Okay, yeah. but it reminds me of actors. Okay, if people say, I want to be a famous actor. Really? You don't want to be a really good actor? You don't want to be a great actor? You just want to be a famous actor? Mm -hmm. Why don't you be the best actor you can be and let the fame follow that? Then you'll get the fame organically with you having been ambitious in your trade. Yeah, I, I, the reason why I asked the question is i got four kids, and we're having a conversation yesterday about football. How right? old are they? Uh, 10, 9, 6, 
18 months. Got it. 10, 9, 6, 6 hey, 18 months. Busy yeah. dude. I would yeah. have 20 more if I could, but, you know, we're shutting it down. So, anyways, we're having this conversation about <laughs> the nine-year-old. Yes, it Did is. Did I like, hear vasectomy there? He said, we're shutting it uh, down. No. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. He's so, not getting one. Yeah. <laughs> so, His beautiful wife is shutting it down, yeah. okay. so, I understand. So, so the, the whole idea is if we're going the route of, uh, uh, if we're going the route of, you know, what these kids want to do. And the conversation yesterday was the youngest son, nine-year-old, wants to play football. And my sister's like, well, you know, you sure you want to put him in football with the stats and all this other stuff. We sat down and went out of conversation with the guy. So listen. With the nine-year-old. He, with the nine-year-old. We showed him videos. I interviewed Antonio Brown. Here's what he said. Here's what this person said. Here's a clip. Watch this clip. Watch that clip. Watch this clip. The kid still wants to play football. There it is. So no matter how much you push him away, you're not going to be able to force the kid to do what you want him to do. You could, but you may create resentment later I would later say on. you don't push them away. You just expose them to information. Exactly. And, yeah. and of course, when you're nine, especially, your brain is not fully rationalized yet. So I would revisit it every couple of years with your child. But your kid could be the most famous football player there ever was. And you don't want to be the one who who interfered with that. Plus, football is slowly getting safer relative to decades ago. Take a look at the the hits that Terry Bradshaw took. Uh, you look at it, it's like, why is he still alive? All right, and, and the laws were put into place since then. So I'm just saying, as a parent, I think your goal should be not to require they study or are interested in one thing or another, but that they're exposed to the the joys and the sufferings of whatever it is they might choose to do, and then let them make their own decision, that would ensure that it's a more organically arrived at. Mm-hmm. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.